Within its borders, you'll find stunning beaches, national forests, Hampton Preston mansions, traditional villages, and plenty of museums boasting retired Navy ships. Coastal destinations are a top pick for many, but South Carolina is also a nature lover's dream getaway. And for all the urban legend lovers out there, we have a fun little fact about the lizard man of South Carolina, so stay with us till the very end. Whether you're interested in history, love relaxing at the beach, or looking for interesting things to do with your kids, you'll find it in South Carolina's many engaging tourist attractions. As you plan your trip to the Palmetto State, be sure to check out this list of the best places to visit. Many visitors take time to explore Columbia, the state capital of South Carolina, and its largest city. The two biggest draws to the area include the Army base called Fort Jackson and the sprawling campus of the University of South Carolina. If you're interested in architecture and history that predates the Civil War, then check out the Hampton Preston Mansion and Gardens. Built in 1818, this antebellum structure is beautiful, and you can still tour the interior to see many of the original furnishings. If you're eager to snag some souvenirs, Five Points is a remarkable shopping destination in Columbia packed with independent shops and boutiques. One of the most interesting and scenic spots in South Carolina is Caesars Head State Park. The park is situated in the northernmost part of the state, right on the border with North Carolina. Caesars Head itself is a gigantic rock formation that overlooks the entire Piedmont region below. Hiking is the most popular pastime at Caesars Head State Park, and shorter trails like the Ravencliff Falls are an easy alternative for those who want a brief introduction to the landscape. Fishing, overnight camping, and spotting hawks migrating in the fall are other amazing ways to experience the park. In the Grand Strand region of South Carolina and right on the coast is Polly's Island. This slice of paradise is a retreat where you can unwind, stay active, and kick back on beautiful beaches. Long preferred by the wealthy, Polly's Island is an upscale spot for those in search of a South Carolina getaway. Litchfield Beach is a big attraction, offering glorious dunes and a long stretch of pristine white coastline. Also appealing are the many golf courses, some of which offer unparalleled sea views right from the tees. Just outside of the capital city of Columbia is the Congaree National Park. Named for the Congaree Indians who once lived and fished in the area, the National Park is an interesting mix of forested areas and floodplain swampland. Here, you can find some of the largest cypress trees in the world, which are well worth a visit. Bird watching is another popular pastime, with plenty of songbirds and the occasional hawk to be spotted. Most trails are for hiking, but the Cedar Creek Canoe Trail is a unique way to explore the landscape from the water. One of the better known suburbs of Charleston is Mount Pleasant. The Ravenel Bridge, an iconic part of the city, links the two destinations. Mount Pleasant is primarily residential, but it has a lot to offer visitors as well. Notably, Mount Pleasant is home to the Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum. This museum boasts retired Navy ships, many of which can be toured including the World War II aircraft carrier USS Yorktown. Mount Pleasant is also a wonderful place to get outdoors, and the walking paths at Mount Pleasant Memorial Waterfront Park and Shem Creek Park are scenic places to do exactly that. While much of South Carolina has a historic, traditional feel, Greenville is the modern, progressive alternative. The city is often described as the melting pot of the Old South and the New South, and it boasts a growing cultural landscape. On your visit, you might opt to explore the Greenville County Museum of Art or catch a touring Broadway show at the Peace Center Theater. Don't leave without taking the time to visit Falls Park on the Reedy, a truly stunning park right in the center of the city that features an enormous waterfall. This park is truly the heart of Greenville and was the birthplace of the city itself. The coastal town of Beaufort is just off the Intracoastal Waterway, and it has a history dating back to the Spanish exploration of the early 16th century. Today, Beaufort is known for its historic architecture and southern charms. A great place to start is at the Beaufort History Museum, or you can see what Nance Bellum Mansion looked like with a tour of the John Mark Vergier House. Walk through Beaufort's historic district to admire more of the town's architecture and then stop in at one of the charming cafes for a glass of sweet tea to cool down. Just north of Savannah, Georgia is the picturesque Hilton Head Island. This barrier island is only 12 miles or 19 kilometers long, but it has earned a reputation as a playground for those who love warm weather, gorgeous beaches, and an abundance of golf courses. While the rich and famous own a lot of the local property, particularly in the upscale neighborhood of Harbor Town, there are still over nine miles of public access coastline available. There are also several bike paths, countless golf courses, and the Palmetto Dunes Tennis Center, which is regarded as one of the best tennis training centers in the world. Don't forget to add a dolphin watching tour to your itinerary as dolphins are spotted throughout the year from just off the coast. More than 14 million people a year come to Myrtle Beach, and it is easy to see why. 
The coastal hotspot boasts incredible beaches, blue waters, and bright white sand. Sunrise and sunset offer magnificent views that simply can't be beaten. What sets Myrtle Beach apart is that it has several big attractions just off of the beach. Many golf courses, Ripley's Aquarium, and countless dinner theater shows provide fun out of the sun. After dark, the best place to be is Broadway at the beach, and the enormous collection of bars and restaurants where you can always find something fun to do. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the South, Charleston is a historic port city packed with antebellum architecture. Its historic downtown is on a peninsula formed by two rivers, the Ashley and the Cooper, flowing into the Atlantic and protected from the open ocean by surrounding islands. Fort Sumter, accessible by ferry from Charleston, is an important Civil War landmark. Make your way to the French Quarter to find the Huguenot Church and several wonderful art galleries. If you'd like to see some of the most important sights at once and enjoy a heavy dose of charm at the same time, consider a traditional carriage tour through the city. The market is another must-see attraction bordered by shops, restaurants, and nightlife. Thank you for staying. Now let's get into the Promise bonus fact. This is probably one of the most unusual state legends in South Carolina. The story of the Lizard Man originated more than 30 years ago in Bishopville, South Carolina when a young high school boy named Christopher Davis had his car broken down near Skateboard Swamp. According to his report to the county police, when Davis got out of his car to change his flat tire, he was approached by a seven-foot-tall green scaly man with three fingers and red eyes. The creature then proceeded to attack his car, leaving behind deep scratch marks. What are your thoughts about these amazing places mentioned in our compilation? Comment down below and let us know all about it. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and also ring the YT bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time.